Hello, welcome to this instructional video which will tell you how to make maps for Counter-Strike Source. First download Source SDK through Steam, it's a tool, open it, set current game to Counter-Strike Source, and open Hammer Editor, which is the map editor. Wait for the Hammer logo to disappear. Click File, New and you're presented with four grid views. Top left is the 3D camera view. Top right is the top-down grid view, the XY plane. Bottom left is the front grid view, the YZ plane. And bottom right is the side grid view, the XZ plane. As Valve has broken the 3D camera, you need to fix it by clicking the map, entity report, go to, and closing that window. You can navigate the 3D camera view using the arrow keys and the mouse wheel. To start off, we'll make a floor. Do this, select the brush tool, the white cube, and drag a square with 1024 inch sides in the top right view. In one of the bottom two views, drag it so it's a couple of grid squares beneath the blue-green horizontal line. Then hit return. You now have a floor. It should have the texture shown here and be highlighted in red. Now you need to click the selection tool and you have your four selected. We we'll want to copy and paste this and turn it into a ceiling. Do this, just press Ctrl C followed by Ctrl V. Drag it so it's a few grid squares above the floor and make sure it's aligned in the top right view. Now you can use the 3D camera view to confirm this. Next what we want to do is make a wall. To do this we'll make a brush, the length of one side and the height of the gap between the floor and ceiling. Make sure that there are no gaps between brushes to the outside world. The horrible void which you want to avoid. Now, hit return to make that wall, copy and paste it to make the opposing wall. Hold down control, you can select both of them in the camera view. Copy and paste them, and then press control and M to open up the transformation view. You want to rotate them through 90 degrees in the z-axis, that's the axis normal to the horizontal plane. And then align them to make the... Uh, final two walls for your room. Inside your room you can confirm that there are no horrible gaps to the outside void, like I might just create here. That's bad, so you want to make sure there's no gaps to the black outside. Right, it's a basic room done. Next you want to light this. Okay, a light. Entity tool, the white mushroom. Click somewhere inside your room and hit return. What should form is a terrorist, but we're going to turn him into a light. Right click on him in one of the grid views, go to properties, select class, make it a light. Select brightness, the first three numbers are color, the final one, which we'll change to a thousand because it's a big room. Click apply, close that, you've now got a light. Make sure it's in the middle of your room, and not in the ceiling or something. Next, we're going to want spawn points. Another entity. Drag him down. Now, spawn points don't work if they're touching the floor or walls. To change the size of the grid, which is currently a 64 inch grid, use the square bracket keys. Press the open square bracket three times to change the grid size to an 8 inch square grid, which is very useful for doing those things. Drag your terrorists 
down to one grid square of the floor. Have him somewhere inside your room. And that's one terrorist spawn point done. It'll allow a maximum of one player on the terrorist team. Copy and paste that. And we'll make the counter terrorist spawn. Right click, properties, class, change to counter terrorist. And we'll just turn him to face the other way for the hell of it. Put 180 into the angle box. You now got a counter terrorist facing the other way. Make sure he's also one grid square of the ground, not touching a wall, and just put him somewhere else on the map. You now have a map which has a light and two working spawn points. Yes, you should. If you want by zones, click browse in the textures, filter for trigger, select the orange trigger texture, create a new brush where you want the by zone to be. Put one around the terrorist to start with. Now, it's not a buy zone yet. Press Ctrl and T whilst the box is selected. And you create a brush entity. Select the class. Set it to Punk Buy Zone and set the team to terrorist and click apply close it you now got the terrorist one the buy zone done copy and paste it put it around the counter terrorist right click on it properties team number to counter terrorist this time so the counter terrorist needs it you've now got a map with spawn points and buy zones but the fun doesn't stop there. You can do things inside your map, like creating a low wall in, say, concrete texture. Filter for concrete. Select one you like, and a brush will form with a concrete texture. Change the texture of current brush, select it, select the texture you want, and hit the apply current texture, the old brick cube. Now, this is the beginnings of a map. This will work for a little 1v1 map, and to compile it, press F9. If you haven't saved it already, you'll be asked to save. Call it Thingy. Save. Have all the options set to normal. And I like to have Don't Run the Game After Compiling selected. Because I'd like to open the game myself. And click OK. The map will now compile. When it says copy to clipboard, it is finished, and it should appear in your map list when you open Counter-Strike Source and go to create a server. Join me for another video where I'll tell you to do lots more interesting things.